Welcome Sagittarius, it's July. The birds are having a fight out there. Yeah. They're fighting over who is going to own that tree. Now, let's see what's happening. We know that it's the total solar eclipse on the second. I will be doing a reading for that. I'm excited because we know it's all about the dragon right now and transformation and the serpent and being connected to the moon. And the moon is in cancer. It's hanging with cancer. That means it's about emotions right now. We're going to be emotional. And you might not necessarily like that. Determined. Moodiness is one thing. Being emotional is a to total other, right? Sometimes I think we wear our moodiness as a form of protection sometimes. But it's not really actually beneficial for us. We need to heal from that and really... It, we can get to another level of harmoni harmonization, another level of being close to someone. King of Discs determined, and this is determined right now to climb that mountain within and integrate the sun. You figured out, you know, which direction the light is in, where you're going. And you are going to have to cross the seas of emotion. I do believe, though, that you're going to have help, though. It's not going to be as hard as you think that it is, that you're going to have help there. A stabilizing force. Maybe even with Mother Earth. I love that the sunflowers are there. Life force energies. Well, wow, Prince of Wands, visionary, look this is, you faced your darkness and you're moving forward now here. I really feel like it, um, you've restored balance and it was easy, even easier than you thought it was to follow your passions. After you just found the strength to the driving force, you needed to find the driving force to climb the mountain within. The truth. Yeah, this is about your truth and speaking it. You're like unsilencing yourself. You're freeing something from within. Yeah. Joy. The creation of joy. That's what you're creating here. Six of Cups. And I really feel like this is the reading. This is why. It's spirituality. Yeah. It's right on. We're right on target. Everyone right now is connected to the moon. You've connected to your spirituality. You're studying. This is ancient wisdom. Flow of chakras. You've connected something. You've connected something within. Because... You released something. When you spoke your truth, in whichever way you did that, and releasing that from within, it allowed you to free something within, and then it allowed you within that space to connect something that hadn't been connected before, and it's of peace, and then look, there it is. There you are. Sagittarius. Sagittarius energy right there, and there's the moon. It's all about endurance right now. And the push of the sun with the pull of the moon. This is your balance shot. And it has to do with the moon. The moon's energies. Excited to see what's happening. On the 2nd here of July. Now, let's just see what's being activated. Hmm. I do believe it's that card right there. Nine of Orbs. With this card here, this is the Nine of Swords. But the swords are so heavy, they're not swords. 
they're like glass metal balls that are like completely weighing her down but she she's in a pit literally in a pit hanging with you know mother earth right now well how are we going to shift from this we need to shift from this because we know we're creating joy here this is one big deck you know what we're going to get a reshuffle reshuffle over here because there's there's a way to shift from this. That's what we're doing right now. We're transitioning. It's all about transitioning. So what are we transitioning from? What are we transitioning from? How do we transition? All right. Two cards. The Sage of Chalices and the Two of Crystals. We connect to our cups. We connect to the water energies because that's the time we're in. We have to embrace this right now. With this total solar eclipse happening with Cancer here, the moon with Cancer, we have to, we don't have to do anything. But if we want to make the most out of our transformations, we need to really, we're going to be the sage of chalices. We're going to grab that cup. We're going to, I really feel like this is about, this is actually about, these thoughts are actually about emotions. That's the feelings I get. So what we do is we deal with them. We've, with, with our passions. We don't allow them to drown us. Look, she's not being drowned, drowned by her emotions. She's owning them. And she's flourishing with them. She's using them to fuel her passions. How, how even in a negative space we can do that? In a negative space, we can actually see, okay, well, how can this fuel my passion even more, my driving force forward? And how do I own my cup? And in you being the cup, you being the well. And this restores balance. This restores flow for you. And that's what you need. That's what I love here. There's yin and yang. And it's actually being, you know, it's having your left brain and right brain connected and being able to switch back and forth and using both of them, how beneficial that is. Well, it's, this is really practicing here with your right brain with that cup. And that's connecting to your intuitive gifts, your creativeness, your passions, being in flow, your gifts. Now, let's get a chakra, chakra message for you. Yeah, this allows for manifesting here with this two of crystals. I can actually feel the sickness in that Nine of Orbs card. So please, self-healing, self-care. Remember, we're creating joy here. That's what we're creating. We're, oop. Yeah. Relationships. And that's the card that is, I feel is your card it's your it's this is about relationships and even relationships with self this is the sacral chakra and really what this card is about it's about relationship with self it's about allowing your relationship to really flourish with yourself and as well as others being close with others because you've you've really learned how to be close with yourself and having value in your relationships and Understanding that our relationships are mirrors. They're mirrors for us. We're not just like, you know, we like to put ourselves in categories, but, you know, we are all children of the sun. We can all learn from each other in some ways. And I know that, you know, we can see very, some at times, some inhumane things happening and it's hard for us. But when we're just talking about harmonizing with our loved ones, we don't always have to be feeling the need to be right. 
And wow, the ringing in my ear. Oh, I just went deaf. It's a direct message for somebody. But this is about you becoming heart-centered. First and foremost. Alrighty. I want to thank you for joining me here. I'll see you for July 2nd. That total solar eclipse in Cancer reading. Take care.